as I have said earlier, we never classified food based on protein. But they have given different kinds of food grains and the, it's ultimately a judicious balance which is put up in your plate which has to have the presence of all the six tastes in your diet. Of that, very minimal quantities of protein has been advised. There is no particular weight in which you can weigh it and say that these many grams of proteins are advisable for you. The consumption of protein was totally dependent on the physical type and the type of work the person would do. If the person was doing a lot of hard work, toiling in the fields or digging or doing uh, moving heavy objects, then his utilization of the body proteins would be definitely more. So he would be advised to eat a little more of these kind of food materials, which is going to replenish the same tissues in his body. Whereas for a person with sedentary habits, unless he burns the amount of food that he eats, it is not advisable at all to eat it in the quantities that have been ascribed by the dietitians today. I'm sorry to say that because, uh, as I say, whatever you eat is the only thing and the primary thing that can start or trigger off a disease. So that is not dependent on a chart you make for yourself. It is totally dependent on your digestive capacities and your digestive fire, how you can digest the food, how you can assimilate the food and your body constitution diet. So you cannot fix a quantum of food in a general manner and say that this is the quantum of food or every one of us should be eating. No, I wouldn't agree to that at all because food is totally an individual concept. So the amount of proteins you consume is totally dependent on the amount you burn.